and staying in the Middle East, Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei has reportedly ordered a direct attack on Israel. Now, this is in response to the killing of Hamas political chief Ismail Haniyeh on, in Tehran on Wednesday. And according to media reports citing Iranian officials, Khamenei gave the order at an emergency meeting of Iran's Supreme National Security Council. The meeting was held shortly after the country announced that Haniyeh was killed in an airstrike at his home. Now, both Hamas and Iran have accused Israel of plotting the murder of Haniyeh, who flew from Qatar to Iran to attend the inauguration of the new Iranian president. However, the Israeli government has refused to comment on these allegations. In fact, on Wednesday, Israel only claimed responsibility for the killing of a senior Hezbollah commander in Lebanon's Beirut. Uh, did target uh, Fouak Sh uh, Shukar. He was the number two in the Hezbollah organization, a dastardly terrorist with much blood on his hand, not just uh, Israeli blood, but his blood of Americans and other nationalities as well. Um, we know that uh, Hezbollah are a, a unit of the uh, Islamic Revolutionary Guard, Iran's I Islamic Revolutionary Guard. They're a proxy army. Uh, they're fighting us. They mean to destroy us. They say it very openly. And we must uh, do our utmost to protect our people. That's what we did. On Ismail Haniyeh, um, we are not commenting on that particular incident. Meanwhile, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said he delivered crushing blows to Iran's proxies, Hamas and Hezbollah, in recent days. Now, without mentioning Haniyeh's killing, Netanyahu vowed strong retaliation for any aggression against Israel from any arena. Citizens of Israel, challenging days lie ahead. Since the strike in Beirut, there are threats sounding from all directions. We are prepared for any scenario, and we will stand united and determined against any threat. Israel will exact a very heavy price for any aggression against us from any arena. Since the beginning of the war, I have made clear that we are in a fight against Iran's axis of evil. This is a war of existence against a stranglehold of terrorist armies and missiles that Iran wants to tighten around our necks. In my speech to Congress a few days ago, I mentioned three main branches of this axis of evil, Hamas, Houthis and Hezbollah, the three H's. In the last few days, we have dealt crushing blows to each of them. Meanwhile, Israeli media reports say that messages have been sent from diplomatic channels to Iran that Israel is willing to fight an all-out war if Tehran and its proxies launch any attack against the country. And Hamenei has reportedly instructed the Iranian military to prepare plans for both an attack and a defense. Some reports suggest that the Iranian military has prepared its assets to strike military targets in the Israeli cities of Tel Aviv and Haifa. However, it's still unclear how forcefully Iran will respond. But what we do know is that Iran's supreme leader has vowed retaliation against Israel, saying that he sees avenging Haniyeh's death as his national duty. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 Network initiative.
across to the West Indies more than you expect. Hello, I'm Alison Green, coming to you from Durban, South Africa. Today we have a special show. Start with a report on India's sixth nuclear cost. The first time since the film was given to the nuclear power. Hello and welcome to First Call America. I'm Eric Hamm, coming to you live from the nation's capital, Washington, D.C.